Welcome, God TV family. Glad to have you with us on God at Work today. You know, years ago, I was serving as a pastor, happy and, and just feeling really good about what I was doing. And God began to speak to me about ministry in the marketplace. There's a whole story behind that. But what really came out was a passage in Revelation chapter 1, verse 6, where it says, He, the Lord, has called us kings and priests. And one of my pastor friends was saying, oh, we call a priest, a, a missionary or a pastor, or a musician maybe, and a king, a business owner, a business person. I said, oh, I love that phraseology. It's just, you know, we usually use clergy and laity and it's just, ah, those words just didn't click with me. Uh, so I, I love this kings and priests, kings speaking to business people. And that launched me into a whole new series of teachings at our church and then into a whole new career watching God use business people to build his kingdom. And that's what this program, God at Work, is all about. It's for you. It's for you in your business. It's to allow you to figure out how to bring God into the marketplace and let him work with you there. To do that, I bring guests on that have had that kind of an experience also, who found that God is with them in the workplace. And again today, I've got with me Lee Ray, who's been with us before. Uh, I've had him on the show twice, and now he's bringing his friends with me. Lee Ray and I have been friends for years and years, and I'm thrilled today he's bringing along Jim Davidson, whom you're gonna meet in just a moment. And this is gonna be an awesome time, watching how God built a business, had to wreck the man, and then build it his way. And we're going to see, maybe you're in one of those places right now. God's going to work in your life. So glad you've joined us. I'll be back in just a minute with Lee Ray and Jim. God bless you. At God TV, we have various newsletters you can sign up for. Somebody says worship is just music. Are you kidding me? The whole Bible is a book of worship. Don't miss out on our monthly newsletter delivered right to your inbox. It's recognizing that Jesus is right there in the middle of your storm, regardless of whether you see him now or not. With the Israel Insider newsletter, you can stay informed, find out the latest news, and discover how to pray for Israel and its people. Sign up today. Well, glad to have you back with us here on the God at Work show. As I mentioned earlier, Lee Ray Haney's with me again. Lee Ray, you brought a friend with you today. Let's meet your friend. Well, I am happy to have Jim Davison here. I have always loved business, but this man makes me love business even more. All right. And I wish I still had a business because if I did, he would be on our team. We, <laughs> we bought companies in the past and I've never seen anybody do mergers and acquisition due diligence better than him. I have been in special assets and I've never seen anybody pull a company out of trouble better than him and his team. I've never seen, if I, if I was in court like I was in the past, he would be our, our uh, expert witness. And um, if you've ever purchased companies and you've done your due diligence, many times you find out you've overpaid and their forensic CPA department comes in and will, it will take care of that for you. So Jim is just, him and his team are just a dynamo for Christ. And um, you take Jim's gifting and business, and then you take his heart for the body of Christ, the household of God, and you blend those two things together. And you watch Jim and his team um, develop and grow Christian and kingdom businesses. They are going to be, it's just going to be an unbelievable impact on what their company does for the kingdom of God and business. Amen. Wow. What an introduction, Jim. That was yeah. a, too, good. <laughs> too good. It's not about me and my team. It's about God. It's he about did God. It. He did it. Okay, so folks, this is Jim Davidson. What what an introduction there. Thank you. So Jim, I, I've just met you in the last few days, but uh, I'm, I'm watching Jesus shine from you even right now. So tell us a little bit of your story. I know it was up and down and back up. Uh, let's just hear it from your lips. Well, I, um, I was pretty successful early on and it went right to my head. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I learned a significant lesson, but as a, a little bit of a background, I started off 12 years of Catholic school and I was great at everything. The top of the class, I was president of the student body. I was valedictorian. I was an outstanding wrestler. I better stop there. Okay, <laughs> but, everything but was I, good. But it was good and I was giving God and I was praying every time. I was close to God. I would ask him to support me on those. But at some time, it became more about me. I forgot about God. 
I went through college. I grad two bachelor's degrees. I had a master's in finance, economics, political science, psychology, everything that I could have gotten, I got from God and I never acknowledged that or I stopped mm. acknowledging it. Mm. I wound up working for the most prestigious CPA firm at the time. Great, great training ground, PricewaterhouseCoopers. I was working with the largest, the most prestigious companies, clients in the world. It was just an amazing, amazing experience. And I didn't, I failed to acknowledge, to show that gratitude to God. He gave me the best, the best experiences. And, and I destroyed it because it went, it became about me. I lost everything at one point that was, that was important to me. My career, my family, my business, financial, everything that was, that, that was they were my idols. God brought me down. It was pride before the fall. Mm -hmm. And I, I, uh, I took it really hard, like, like never before. I was humbled. In fact, the, the analogy I would use is one of the things I did and did well in high school and college was I did judo and I did wrestling. In wrestling, you seek to get a pin. And in judo, you try to pin your opponent. And I was pinned to badly to the ground, tight to the, I was down. And I looked up at God and I said, bring me back one more time, God. Give me one more chance. And I will always acknowledge you. I will never forget you. I will give back. I will give back like never before. You will know, everybody will know that that was because of you. And it was true. It was impossible. And when I started the firm, I actually had on my website, nothing is impossible with God. Amen. And it was impossible. It, it, nothing is impossible. And he proved it through what he did with me. He's blessed me exceedingly. So I am, I, I, ne I always thought, I am going to say it from the rooftops. I'm going to yell out that he is the best, the most generous, the most merciful, compassionate, the best God, the best God ever. Well, right, you're, but you're shouting. I, I didn't expect to do it here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing it because people around the world are hearing you. And uh, and, and listen, Jim, we'll weep with you about that, but we're going to rejoice with you with where you are today. Because some of our friends right now are at that point where everything they touched was good and then, then it brought, got brought down. Yeah. Or maybe it hasn't been brought down yet, but if you're not trusting God, watch this. There's a purpose behind all of these messages that we're giving you. There's a purpose to get you to the place where you can stay up there with that God who is the greatest. So thank you for shouting from the mountaintop that <laughs> it was all God. <laughs> There's not a doubt in my mind. I have the, I have the best wife in the world, um, right? Just a wonderful, a wonderful uh, godly woman. That's thank one. You. Thank I you, got Lord. a great family. I got a, I, it's not my business. I, God gave that business to me and I gave it right back to him. I mm. dedicated it back to him really because of my experience, what I learned from JC Junior, J Jesus Christ CEOs through Libre. Yeah. I dedicated it back to God and he blesses it. I cannot, I cannot give back enough because the more I give back, God just, he, I, I, if I begin to doubt, is all I need to do is give, mm -hmm. and God gives me more, Amen. truthfully. Amen. And that's what, what I, one of the things that I have committed to do. I did commit, and I, I, I fight to do it all the time. I was in the world of greed, materialism, selfishness, pride, ambition, all of those things, and mm -hmm. I, it was never enough. And now, I, I'm, it's still not enough to do what I want to do and what I want to be. But God has blessed me to bless others. Yes. That's, I, I, and I'm doing that in every chance, every opportunity that I can. He's also, he also asked me, I, I told God that you bless me and I am going to bless others. And I, and I do my darndest to do that. He also, I also look to the verse about if he can trust me with a little, Mm. He can trust me with a lot. Yes. And and he's given me a lot and I'm going to give everything I can to honor him to give it to everybody I can. It's a it's an attitude change but and it's it's more than that. It's a heart change. Yes. That heart change that is that's all Jesus. That mm. is all God. Amen. I'm still not there. I've got a long way to go. 
but I am a long way from where I was Amen. rich. You know, I, I, I'm thinking right now, there was, we had a man in our church that came for years and didn't receive the Lord. Finally, he did. But during that process where he hadn't, he said to me one day, Pastor, you preach through your clothes. <laughs> in other words, had you stopped earlier, I'd have been ready. You right now have brought us to a point. We're not done with the show, but you brought us to a point of decision and commitment. Mm. And I want you to look right at the camera right now. And I want you to say, hey, there's somebody out there just like me. It's time to get right with mm. God. You say it. Leroy's going to join you. We're going to pray. Uh, I, I think it's time for some commitment to come mm. right now, just Amen. like you have experienced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Amen. do it again. Oh, just Amen. tell us what it. we need. Amen. Let me let me tell you, mm. I've been there. And there are senior executives that I was one. And I put others, other things before God. Mm. There is nothing that I would do now to put above God. Mm. You do that. You seek him like I sought him, and he will look out for you. He will take care of you. He will do things that I could never imagine. He mm. will do the same for you. Mm. I believe that with all my heart. Amen. Amen. Leroy, add a prayer to that, please. Just say this prayer with me right now. Lord, please forgive me for please putting my career me. above you, for putting, for my, putting my family you. above you, for, for putting my, my life above you, for putting okay. my wealth above you. I want to come before you right now and repent and ask for your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I want you to come in and not only be the Savior of my life, but I want you to come in and be the Lord of my life. Ask that right now. Amen. Lord, come into my life right now and save me, deliver me, and give me eternal life and the joy and the love and the happiness that my brother Jim has been talking about right now. Amen. Ask the Lord to come into your heart right now. Now believe that. Believe that Jesus has come into your heart right now. Feel that warmth. Feel that coldness that's come into your heart right now. That's the Lord invading your soul and invading your spirit right now. Now say, thank you, Jesus. I receive you as my Lord and Savior, and I give it all to you from this point on in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Levi. So listen to me, folks. If you prayed that prayer with Levi right now, you heard the conviction from Jim, and you just are at the place where you know you need that. Let us know about it. Just reach out to us here at God TV. We want to be your, your team. We want to be your friend. We want to be your helper right now. Info at God.tv. And let us know just that, hey, I listened. I've received Christ. It'll give us such encouragement. And we'll pray with you and, and help you in any way that we can because we really do care about you. And thank you for joining us and, uh, and listening to this important message and uh, Jim, thank you for opening your heart and sharing it. Okay, Jim, so let's talk about now. Now uh, things are better in your business uh, even yep. than they were before. So I don't even know what kind of business you have. Tell these folks what, what work you do. Um, well, uh, Leroy did such a great job talking a little bit about it, <laughs> yeah. but it is God's business. Yes. I, I dedicated to it, that business back to him. Um, but I, I can tell you this, that the things that we do are to honor him. And okay. we do that by not only saving companies, for one example, but we actually help them prosper. Okay. We'll we can take a company that is, uh, even in bankruptcy, may not survive. Mm -hmm. It's severely distressed. And we will find a way by following God, by bringing his power into it, and having him bless us through that process. Yes. And we actually seek him and ask him. I, every time I do that, that turns out to be an amazing success. And I can give you a couple of examples. Well, let's hear I give it. you many, but I can give you a couple. Let's hear it, yeah. <laughs> there was uh, one company last year, shortly after everything was shut down, mm -hmm. uh, company, small startup company in California that was Christian owned, Christian management. And they were starting up a, a small commuter airlines. Um, but it was shut down one week after they started operations because the airlines were generally shut down. Because of COVID. Because yeah. of COVID. Yeah. They, shortly after, another large uh, airlines in regional airlines in Alaska called Raven Air had been in bankruptcy twice. It was now it just filed bankruptcy again. 
It was shut down. They had no revenue. It was the beginning of it was it was the beginning of their good season, and they were shut down. Mm. Uh, this little company came to me to ask if I could help them to do an acquisition of this company that was in bankruptcy. They had little money. They were a startup. How it was impossible. And I told them I gave them eight reasons why it was impossible. But there was something about it. The fact that they were believers. I said, I know that this is impossible. And I went through the reasons. You're a startup. You have no money. You're nearly bankrupt. <laughs> You're looking at a, acquiring a company in Alaska out of your geographic area that is in bankruptcy, has been in bankruptcy twice. They were a sophisticated company. They knew what they were doing. They were sophisticated management. And they were in bankruptcy. The industry is shut down. It's shut down in Alaska. How are you going to, there's no, nobody's going to fund you. You're not going to be able to get financing. The capital markets are shut down. How is that possible? It's not. But I, uh, but for some reason, my last comment was, but I think that if God is with us, and if you join me in that, we, and I will put it in our engagement letter, our agreement, that this will only be possible with God. And if we believe that, and we do, and I believe it, Amen. that's the only way that we will get it done. And we, it was a tough process, but and it was we were dealing with the big guys. I'm telling you, fifteen billion dollar private equity firms. Uh, huge, massive lenders. Everybody was turning us down, right and left. And we did what's called a 363 transaction in bankruptcy. Ultimately, we carved out a part of that airline that we carved it out out of bankruptcy. We got it financed. We got it overfunded. Not we. God did that. And that company, I just checked in with them a few months ago. They are coming out of the winter. They paid off all the debt, 100% of it. And now it's the beginning of the springtime, the summer, the season. They have no debt. A total success story. That wasn't me. It had to be God. It had to be. It was impossible to fight all odds. So that's one example. Well, uh, let's just praise God for a minute, folks. So I... Okay, it could be a big company, small company. It could be your personal life right now. When it looks like there is no answer, God is still there. And Jim, you, I tell you, you walk, I, I was ready to quit on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was too. I, I was too. I, I I wondered, I said, God, would you bring me in here? Is this, is this going to be a failure? And then at the very end. We got it done. And that company, so you have a perspective, was a, uh, it's public information because it's it was in bankruptcy. It was a two hundred and fifty million dollar revenue company. They didn't get it all, but they carved out over a hundred million dollars of revenue. That company, imagine a startup buying a company out of bankruptcy, no money, no capability of running a company of that size. But it was with faith we did that. I should say that I did. I was I was blown away by the power of God's power, and yes. and I and I put it in the engagement letter. First time I've ever done that. And I said, whatever profits Avant gets, Avant Advisory Group, God's firm, whatever that is, we're going to give more than 50%, 51% or more of the profits back to godly purposes, Amen. to the kingdom. We wound up because I was so touched and blessed in every other way. We gave 100% of the, of the fees back, 100% okay. of the fees, and we gave them to to. Christian charities, a little bit to JCCEOs, a little bit, <laughs> but we gave a lot to, for, for the children, Amen. for orphan kids, for uh, family building, uh, for anything that was godly. And God blessed the firm and me even more. Amen. Oh, uh, listen, folks, when you, when you trust God, even the impossible can happen. And when you decide to give, <laughs> he was going to give half, he gave a hundred percent. How much is a tithe? Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Sometimes God will say, no, I want it all. He did in this. He did. But I should say that. Remember, I mentioned that I was materialistic and selfish mm -hmm. and ambitious and, yeah. and insecure. I got to tell you, that was the hardest thing to do. Okay. It was. Yeah. I, I, it was so hard. But I, I felt the best antidote to materialism and greed. Yeah. is to give it away. Oh, I tell and, you, and, there, and, there and God is. rewarded yeah. that. I, I just, I know he, I know he was pleased with that. Amen. So, yes. that's one of of many. Uh, of many. Well, we we got we got a couple of minutes. Do you have a another short one? Well, here, here here's here's one that um, 
pretty much just wrapped up. I got great news the other day from a company that about, uh, I would say it was July, I got a referral from in from a major bank. We do referrals for major, I mean, a nationwide name bank. I don't want to say the name, but this bank, um, we've done a couple of other transactions for them to save two hundred million dollar companies that yeah, right. were in trouble. Okay. And we just called it the way it was, straightforward, integrity. And it was a success for that particular bank. In other words, they didn't have to do a write down. Right. They didn't have a bankruptcy. So they've, re, they brought us into other transactions. They brought us into one up in Northern California, a $100 million construction company. They were in trouble. They had tripped a covenant, breached a covenant with a bank. Oh boy. The bank, yeah. this had been the second time it had mm. been in special assets, the workout group, the trouble, the, the, the group within a bank that handles distressed assets, distressed companies, companies that are in trouble that may wind up in, in bankruptcy or liquidation. So they said, we don't know that, we don't trust you guys. We don't, we need an expert in to come in to save the company, to give us the truth. Tell us what the facts are. And maybe we need to pull the plug. Maybe we need to liquidate the assets. We don't know. The CEO and I had a great conversation, a couple of hours uh, of conversation. We had a few of them. In fact, I told him, I'll fly up and meet your, your team. I'll meet your management team. Because I want to know, I want to see you face to face. And I want to know that you guys will do what we need to do. But I asked one key question. Are you, are you by any chance Christian? Do you guys believe in Jesus? And, and he answered, well, yeah, we do. Uh, many of us do, many on the management team do. Not all of us, not on the company, but I do. And, and I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Derek, I, I know God, is, God will be behind us and we will make this a win. Amen. You will be successful, <laughs> you will be blessed. I don't know what we've got to say. I, I don't know enough yet until we analyze the company. We understand, we talk to the management team. We go deep into the company to understand what caused the problem. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, we'll, we will ask God to bless this and it will be done. That happened Amen. and it was tough. It was tough. But at that board meeting and even at one of the uh, man senior management team meetings, I thought we were helping them on developing, formalizing a strategic planning process as we came through the actual turnaround. And I, I showed them some examples and there was one that I liked that acknowledged God. We're blessed by God. And I thought, I'm gonna throw that out. And I, I said, our firm, I don't know that all of you know this, but our firm is, it's blessed, it's God's firm. And we give everything back to God and you are saved. You are saved. I mean, the company's saved because of him. Oh man, and, speaking and the word I, of faith. That was hard for me to do that, but it, but it worked. And the other day, they had two months, This we kind of backed off and two months ago, or January and February, they got into trouble again. It was back to the same thing. Okay. It looked like desperation. The CEO called me Monday. And he sent, well, he sent me an email. He said, I need to tell you, Jim, call me as soon as possible. At first, my, my heart dropped. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> and then I read down further. It's good news. Okay. <laughs> and it, and he, he went on at about $40 million of backlog, huge contracts, huge profitability that suddenly came in. And I said, Derek, I told you you were blessed. There you go. <laughs> I told you. Hey, so I, I those those are big things. I'm not an yeah, evangelist, man. but I... That's my way of evangelizing. Okay, now you just said the first untruth there. You, <laughs> are, you are an evangelist. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, thank you, you sound thank like Lee Rich. You thank sound you just Rich. like Lee Rich. <laughs> you are an evangelist. What powerful stories. Thank you so much. Hey, folks, we're going to be back in just a moment. Isn't this exciting what God is doing at work? He can do it for you. We'll be back in just a moment. Get faith-focused content for every part of life with hundreds of videos, articles, and more. Welcome to our Monday's broadcast of the gospel truth. Do you know there's a spiritual atmosphere that affects your very life? God Daily has you covered no matter what season of life you're in. More breakthroughs for you are coming. He's not a God that is restrained in power. He is a God of all power and all might. Sign up today at GodTV.com. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, we're excited here at God TV right now because of just of seeing the 
ability of our God to reach into the impossible and make it happen and how he can set people up to put them in the right place to be the voice of God. Jim Davidson had just been with us and, and along with Lee Ray has been blessing our hearts so much. Uh, my, my faith has risen up right now and I hope yours has too because I don't know where you are right now. Maybe you're where Jim was when you were riding high and not giving God credit. He'll take care of that by bringing you down. But you can also take care of it by starting giving him the glory right now. You also may be at a place where you're looking at an impossible situation. This one doesn't have an answer. Did you, if you just listen to Jim, there were two large companies that had impossible situations that didn't have an answer, but God did. And I want to tell you right now, God does for you as well. Whatever it is you're going through, it may be your marriage, it may be with your kids, maybe with your business, maybe with a relationship somewhere, maybe financial things. God is a specialist in handling issues that you can't handle. If you come to him early, you may not get into that trouble, but you're into it now, go to him now and he's gonna start working on your behalf. You say, Rich, how's he gonna do it? I don't know. I don't know exactly how he's gonna do it. This I know. It's what Jim said. There is no answer, there is no way, but this is Jesus' company. God is gonna do something for you. And I wanna tell you right now, he's gonna do something for you that you could not do on your own. Heavenly Father, right now, I thank you for the privilege of hearing a story of success after failure and then of hearing success story after success story mm -hmm. as you have gifted your servant yes. to help companies who are in trouble. Yes. Right now, you've sent him to us to help us mm -hmm. as some of us are in trouble. Mm -hmm. we're, we're faltering a bit in our life, but God, you are there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just as you prayed with me right now, just give praise to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. You know, oftentimes we kind of end with the problem. I want to end with the victory right now. Mm -hmm. God has a plan for you. It's a beautiful plan. It's going to change your life, your family, your business, your community, your world, because that's the kind of God that we serve. And that's what we want to amplify here. So Jim is an example, and you are the one that's going to be living it out now. So remember, wherever you are, whatever your situation, God is at work. Let him work through you. Thank you for watching God at Work. You can re-watch today's episode or any other program in this series by going to god.tv forward slash VOD. We'd really love to hear from you. Send your thoughts to feedback at God.tv. Also, don't forget, download a free copy of Rich's book at God.tv forward slash work.